Students at Taylor County Elementary School are helping their community by making sure no one goes hungry this summer. They've created a blessing box full of food for the taking and it's available to anyone, anytime. Claire Crouch has more in this Making a Difference. Take what you need, give what you can. A new motto at Campbellsville Elementary School. Anybody, anybody in the community, they don't have to have a kid here, just if they have a need. This little box tucked outside the school cafeteria is full of blessings. Mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, corn. Principal Alicia Rhodes says she had wanted to provide something like this for a while. So when a parent made a Facebook post about trying to start a blessing box program, she was on board immediately. I want one of these at school. What do you need? me to do and so it kind of started from there. In the first week at the school, children from all grades have been filling the box. I love helping people so this is one of the things that that's special to my heart. One student even donating $25 to help keep it stocked. I brought $25 for the people that if they need any money they can go out and buy food and it just feels really good to be able to help people. The idea is to have it full 365 days a year, including weekends and summer, so people can take food anytime they need it. And Principal Rhodes says she's filled with pride seeing her students jump into action to help, knowing the lessons this box provides are blessings for them as well. When they leave here, I want them to know that life is more than math and reading. It's putting a smile on someone else's face and giving back. Covering this making a difference in Taylor County, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News. Great idea, and that was Campbellsville Elementary. I misspoke there at the beginning, but if you'd like to help donate, we'll tell you how. Go to lex18.com. A big surprise today for one Bourbon County librarian and her students. We brought you guys a thousand dollars. Yeah, those screams are coming from students at North Middletown Elementary. School librarian Ashley Isaacs says thanks to funding cuts, all of her budget this year was spent on a new computer checkout system and nothing was left to buy new books. But a local hospital stepped up in a big way, donating $1,000 and some new books. I'm crying, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> and it's a big surprise. Like I say, if I raise two or three, four hundred dollars, I'm happy. That's a good year if we get that much. So this is really exciting. And Isaac says she usually has to raise the money for new library books herself by sending letters, collecting donations, and holding fundraisers. Happy day down there.